Hey, what's up? I'm Harald Zapanta, your poging host today. And I'm John Luis Esenzon, your poging co-host for today. And we are here at the, the University, University of the Assumption. Assumption. Through the years, the University of the Assumption was never left behind in terms of quality education. As time passed, many universities have been established, but the university remains its place as the one of the most outstanding schools in terms of quality education. Many succeed to graduate and some are not, but despite of that, whether they succeed or fail, they will keep pursuing their dream and carry the graduate attribute of the university, which is Diasa Maganaka Mayak will never fade in their hearts. Join us today as we move around the campus to get some interesting facts about our school. Are you ready to get some information over there? Yes, I'm yes. ready. If you do so, let's go! Let's go! First up, Wei Min Chao. Did you know that the University of the Assumption is the first Catholic Archdiocese University not only in the Philippines but in Asia. Began as the Assumption Junior College, founded on January 12, 1963. Its coming into existence was made possible by the Bishop of San Fernando, Most Reverend Emilio A. Sinense, assisted by Monsignor Pedro D. Puno, the Vicar General, in the pursuit of his dream of providing Christian education to the young men and women of Pampanga. From this area, you can see the Puno Hall in 1965. The college was transferred to its present location at the University Site Subdivision Del Pilar City, San Fernando, with Puno D Hall as the only edifice in the same year. This institution was granted government recognition as the Assumption College of Pampanga. Tell us more. The greatest leap of the institution was granted on March 19, 1980. That changed its status from college to a university by the Ministry of Education, Culture, and Sports. The first Catholic educational institution in Region 3 to become a university. The institution soon became the center of various regional services and task forces. It became the Regional Staff Development Center, Nutrition Center, the Centralized Learning Resource Center, and the Center of Educational Development Project Implementing Task Force in Region 3. This made the university even more immersed in community service, especially when it launched Outreach Ministry Program soon after its elevation into university. Now that we learned the brief history of UAE, let's now move on to its benefits. The benefits of studying at the University of the Assumption. An overview. Benefit number one. UA provides great opportunities in providing new experiences for students to grow individually, discovering their passion, ambition, and the path on achieving their dream. University of the Assumption allows students to explore themselves better by providing different organizations in sports, arts, and many more. Joining these activities will help them to improve their skills and to be more confident to face challenges they may face in the future. Benefit number two. Students enable to apply the UA graduate attributes, which is Biasa, Maganaka, and Mayab. UA is not all about the quality of education, UA teaches every student the value of respect and honesty not only inside the campus but also in our community, raising and developing well-founded Kapampangans and responsible Filipinos. These are the characteristics incorporated with each UA graduate attributes. Benefit number three. 
UA seeks to develop living witnesses of gospel values through religious instruction, liturgical celebrations, and prayer services. As Catholics, we are privileged to receive the Lord's charge of bearing witness to the faith and to the Christian way of life as a service to our brothers and sisters, and as a fitting response to God. The university believes in its role as a Catholic institution in serving as the arm of the Church in promoting the faith and in spreading love and service to the now borderless global community. Its commitment to Catholic education as its founders and vision remains embedded in its vessels. As a university, UA shall continue to uphold the same vision in developing of the young men and women of Pampanga, of the country, and the world. Benefit number four, students are encouraged to join extracurricular activities for their holistic development. Participating in extracurricular activities has many benefits. It is a great way to meet people who share their interests, and it also enhances their skills and potential. When you participate in different activities, you'll get the opportunity to explore a range of interests and unlock passions you never know you had. This is also a venue for students to develop their self-confidence by representing the school in various competitions. Furthermore, it develops a sense of responsibility, accountability, and achievement among our students. Lastly, benefit number five. During the pandemic, UA made sure that every student is not left behind in online or offline learning. Currently, the education system is being affected by the pandemic, but the University of the Assumption is making sure its learners are not being left behind in online or offline learning. To ensure that learning continues, UA implemented the UA Flexible Learning or UA Flex. Now in its third year, UA Flex 3.0, it is hoped that it can achieve its proven efficiency with the infusion of face-to-face -face learning in the equation. Furthermore, students can improve their learning experiences through its facilities, such as laboratory, library, and other facilities that give them more hands-on experience in their bachelor's degree. And we are the group three again. That is all. Thank you so much.